Hello everyone, this video covers the steps which are needed to be performed to merge the codes which were downloaded from your cloud system against the on-premise codes. In the external system, the relevant codes are maintained in the configuration table which has a view cluster for user maintenance. This table stores the details of map types in ERP. Currently, we support three categories of mapping to C4C. First one is map only C4C codes. We specify that only the codes which are available in C4C are mapped. No new codes are created in C4C for the codes which are available in ERP and a relevant match is not found. The second one is merge ERP codes. We specify that all the codes from ERP are mapped to a corresponding C4C code. If a particular code is not available in C4C, a new code is created in the system and the mapping is done for the same. The third step is is the apply default mapping. This specifies that the mapping is done only for the codes for which a mapping is maintained in the default mapping configuration table. To check the values of the default mapping to C4C, you need to select a particular code list and click on default mapping from C4C. Here we maintain the C4C code to which an external code is to be mapped. You can maintain default mappings manually if a particular code in ERP needs to be mapped to a specific code in C4C. Ensure that the code list exists in C4C before the upload. Default mapping can also be maintained for the codes where the map type is merge ERP codes. In such a case, the logic uses default plus merge, which means the codes with where a default mapping is present, the default mapping takes preference. And for the codes where default mapping is not found, a merge is done and new codes will be created in the C4C if needed. The merge report in the on-premise system is used to merge the C4C business configuration with the on-premise customizing. This report generates merged archive file with the code list and the code list mapping which does not exist in C4C and can be uploaded to the SAP cloud for customer after reviewing. The inputs to this report are main language. This is the compare language in which the descriptions are matched. The code from SAP cloud for customer must be downloaded in this language only and the descriptions which are maintained in the main language are considered during the merge. Group code ID, the code is mapping group which is used in SAP Cloud for customer. The group used here should be same which you use during the download from the cloud system. The merge customizing directory, this is the location in which your merge file will be downloaded. The merge file is downloaded in a zip format. The system takes care of proposing the name of the file, so you only need to provide the directory here. CSV delimiter, this is the delimiter used in CSV file. This should also be same as what you used during the download. C4C business configuration file, the downloaded archive file with existing codes and mappings from Cloud for customer. Additional languages, the language, this denotes the language in which the codes needs to be created in SAP Cloud for customer other than the main language. Consider C4C code list mapping. This denotes whether, to, whether the existing code list mapping is to be considered which exists in SAP Cloud for customer. If checked, the existing mapping information is not changed. Only those ERP codes that do not occur in existing mapping are added. This is preferred during an upgrade. If unchecked, like during an initial load, only the code list are considered and the existing mapping would be overwritten.